Thanks so much, guys. I'm definitely excited to be here. It's my first Whippio playoff game coverage as well. So very excited to do this broadcast alongside of you. But yes, I did catch up with Coach Roy Hall of the Jeanette Jayhawks, and it's not his first playoff game at all. But there is a first for this Jeanette Jayhawks team tonight, and it's this beautiful turf field behind me. It's their first Whippio playoff game on this turf. And get this, he's really excited because he believes their offensive speed is way more of a threat on this turf field and especially at home. There aren't a ton of fans in the stands, but there are some cheering on the Jayhawks tonight. In terms of what he stressed to his team coming into this game, he said, guys, listen, we've got to respect our opponent the entire way through this game as well as we move forward in the playoffs if we get the win tonight because the first Whippio playoff game from his experience, always presents the most challenges. And sometimes it may not be the prettiest, but they just have to get that first win out of the way. In terms for the Avella Eagles on the other side tonight, they know that they're coming in as the underdog. And I talked to coach Ryan Cicchini and he said, listen, we know the threat that Brad Birch presents to us back there in the quarterback position with his fast wide outs. But knowing about the playoffs a couple days in advance gave the coaching staff and team time to prepare and watch film and give extra emphasis on covering the passing game tonight. They do believe that their defense shows strength in stopping the rush game tonight. So being able to put that extra emphasis out there was a huge advantage for them. But in terms of being the underdogs, he said, we're excited, we're loose, and we've got absolutely nothing to lose tonight. Really funny that he did exactly what he said he was going to. When I asked him about why he likes to pass the ball so much, he said, I want to be known as a passer. In fact, in the first Whippeal playoff game, the We're first touchdown KJ we're going to get as a team play. is a pass from Let me. And how ironic, Brian it was Kimmel. to his brother in the end zone. Okay, I asked him if that's his favorite target, and he honestly said, I don't really have a go-to. I don't have a favorite. Yes, I love playing with my brother, but all of my wideouts do a fantastic job in making themselves available and open for me to look up and make an easy pass to. They look incredible so far. 28-0 the Jayhawks lead and in their two previous games as well, shutouts for the defense. And when I asked Coach Ray Hall about it in Westmoreland Sports Network, talked to him earlier this week, he gives a lot of credit to everyone. He says it takes a lot more than just one or two players making plays on the field and he said that's a test to how well his team connects off the field as well both offensively and defensively these guys are best friends off the field and it translates so well on the field of play Kelsey. the only points that avella scored seven points on the board right now it started from a trick play which was pretty fun to watch i'm sure not for you but what did you say to your team in halftime in order to adjust and expect that may happen again on the field in the second half we always tell them you got to prepare. You know, when, when you're desperate, you got to look for anything. Rather, you know, even on their own side, they uh, did a fake punt and everything like that. You know what I mean? So you just got to be prepared. And I understand their position. You know, uh, they're the underdog. They want to try anything to do they can do to score. In your 12 seasons of coaching, have you ever had a Whippeal playoff team in the quarterfinals mercy roll a team at the half? I don't, well, maybe back when we had Terrell Pryor, but I don't recall as, as a head coach, no, we haven't. All right, thanks so much, Coach. Still a half of football to play, but best of luck to you. All right, thank you. Guys, back to you. And act like a senior. It's also something Coach Roy Hall had said about Brad Birch as well. He said in that first game against Clareton, despite the loss, he walked out there and played like a senior veteran. From that day on, we realized that Brad Birch was for real. Definitely a line that Brad Birch says frequently. He says for real after every sentence. And when I interviewed him, he said that day in Clareton was probably the biggest growing point of his freshman season. He said that day in particular helped me realize how fast the speed of the play is and how much I need to get the ball out of my hands quicker for real. But Brad Birch predicted how the first score was gonna happen that he was going to throw a touchdown pass. He didn't say exactly to who, but he executed very well. How comfortable are you with him, the freshman in the backfield, moving forward in the playoffs? Oh, I'm very. Uh, after that first game with uh, Clareton, I was very comfortable with him at quarterback. I mean, he could be quarterback for me the rest of my career if we could do it because he's, he's a competitor, he's a player, and uh, he's developing as a, a leader. 
you told me that the first playoff game, from your experience, presents a lot of challenges. You never really know how it's going to go. This one definitely worked in your favor, but from your experience, your knowledge, your ex playoffs, what is the second like? Well, the second playoff is even more crucial because you win that when you're in a championship game. And um, from what I'm hearing, Rochester's up and uh, they're the ones that knocked this out a couple years ago. So uh, we're, we're going to be geared up for that. For knowing what could happen, what a game could present, how important was it to get some other guys on the field tonight toward the end? It's always good to get the other guys experience because you never know. We always say you never know when you need the next guy. Anybody can go down at any time so they get the experience and they play pretty well.